Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things narcissism and this video is going to be some phrases where you can attack back while putting a narcissistic person in their place. Now when it comes to a narcissistic person they lack empathy so you need to stay safe. These terms aren't to be used against an intimate partner or somebody that you are going to be left alone with. They are in that friendship group where you've got so many genuine healthy friends and then there's just that one person that seems to have it in for you therefore when you go to that special occasion with your family that you don't want to miss out on because you want to celebrate something with your family members but you know that narcissistic family member is going to be there and they're going to be smearing your name and telling everyone just what a horrible person you are so these phrases are to protect yourself from their attacks on you however they can lead to a narcissistic injury so you need to be careful and you need to stay safe so these phrases can also be used in a work setting with narcissistic co-workers to put them in their place so when a narcissistic person is gaslighting you, when they're telling you that you said something or that you did something and you're just locked in that battle of wills and nothing's getting resolved, nothing's getting sorted, the more you try to sort things with them, the less that's going to happen, the more that they're going to attack you and accuse you and hurt you. So the quickest way to disarm this sort of situation and put a narcissistic person in their place is we remember things differently. Now, yes, narcissistic people are then going to turn around and say, you remember things wrong. This isn't your time then to attack back. This is your time then to just leave them to go on their rant. Because the more you ignore a narcissist, the more it renders them insignificant, the more it's going to cause that narcissistic injury and the sooner they're going to slip up. So if you just turn around and at this point you don't really need to watch your tone if you don't want to ruin a special occasion for somebody else. However, you don't need to watch your tone because you're not going to be in a place of physical or psychological danger with them because you can recognise their game. So you can just turn around and say, we remember things differently and then fall silent on them. Use the things they do to you to hurt you as they do those things to hurt you because it hurts themselves when people do it to them. No, it's not nice. No, it's not pleasant. However, it's better than them insulting you, attacking you. When a narcissistic person is accusing you of things when they're accusing you of not helping them when they're accusing you of being stubborn or being awkward you can simply just turn around and say i'm sorry you feel that way about my personal boundaries they might then start attacking you however you can then just turn around to a narcissistic person and just say when we've got a bit more respect i'll discuss this further they're going to start accusing you of treating them like a child. However, they're acting like a child. When they're accusing you of never being there for them, never doing anything for them, you can just turn around and say to them, I'm sorry that you feel entitled to all my time. In front of other people, this really does criticise a narcissist. You then need to look for ways to stop communicating with them because, again, once they've suffered that narcissistic injury, they might then show their true colours to you. Be careful. Some situations you don't want to use these phrases because you do not want to ruin another person's special occasion which is what a narcissist is going all out to do. So sometimes you just need to just turn around and say, I understand what you're saying and walk away to disarm it and shut it down fully. Now, when you walk away from a narcissist, more often than not, they can come chasing after you because they've not got what they want from you. When they've got uh, an opinion that's different to yours and they're not willing to see it from your way, 
because everything has to be their way or you're wrong. So to just end the conversation, the easiest way to do this is to just turn around and say, I can see your point of view. I'm sorry you're unwilling to see mine. Narcissistic people, again, might turn around and say, oh, I can see your point of view, you're wrong. Again, they're going to attack you and put you down. This is your cue to stop the communication, recognise that they're not interested. Let them do the talking, let them stumble on their words, let them attack you, let them make a fool of themselves. When they're trying to guilt trip you, now, narcissistic people are very good at hurting your feelings and then turning around and saying, I'm sorry you feel that way because they're not going to take responsibility for their behaviour. That's beyond them. So when they are trying to guilt trip you, when they're trying to claim that you should do something for them after all they've done for you, you can just turn around and say, well, I thought you did those things because you cared, not because you wanted something in return. And then leave them to do the explaining. Narcissistic people have an incredible knack of getting you to defend yourself, justify yourself and explaining yourself to them. So when they are attacking you, you need to turn the table so that they feel obligated into defending themselves and explaining themselves to you. They do not like doing this and this can trigger that narcissistic injury. When they are putting you down, when they're devaluing you, when they're trying to destroy your confidence or when they're putting other people down, call it in front of people and say, why, why do you have to be so nasty towards other people? Why do you have to pull other people down? Why can't you be respectful towards other people? They'll often then go on a major spiel of just how horrible that person is and this is when you need to recognise people who gossip about other people in such a manner are not the kinds of people that you want in your life. Yes, we can all have that one person within a group that we don't particularly gel with. It doesn't necessarily make them narcissistic. We can all have that one person in a group that we just can't get along with. We have no idea what's going on in their lives. So there's no need to gossip about them. However... When somebody is toxic towards you and hurtful and negative and puts you down and insults you and accuses you and wants everything their own way with you and comes back when they want something from you, you have to learn to distance yourself from them, to avoid contact with them. No contact is always the best approach when dealing with narcissistic people. Not always possible, in which case it's rules to deal with narcissistic people, limited contact and grey rock. If any, any, anyone has any phrases they use to help them when dealing with a narcissist, please do add those into the comments. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm as for sure. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.